So this one took me forever because I really didn't feel like recording it, so I've had it like made the video and I just needed to do the voiceover. So here we go. So this video is more like a semi-tutorial, semi just a bit less sped down version of how I made specifically the dock area, so with the boats that already appears in the video that I already uploaded, so I think it was episode 3. And uh, yeah, so I did some terrain work and then uh, started putting in the walls. And then I needed to, I, I knew I didn't want to have like the texture of the bricks, so I had to figure out like what is gonna be the actual, not the docks themselves, but like the area above the docks because the docks are going to be lower and I found this which is basically like here I'm, I'm checking to see that it, it fits together perfectly so like the length and stuff yeah so I found this asset which is basically like a platform of uh, you know of a train a station and yeah then I basically needed to figure out what length they need to be and how exactly I want them to be put but I'm pretty happy with them I found them pretty early on and they worked out pretty well with everything I had planned so I'm really happy with that part this is a very sped up version of how much I've looked for assets for what I want to do with the docks so I went through a shit ton of assets, I checked every option on every asset, as you can tell. And this is sped up by 200%, um, I think. So you can imagine how long that took in real time. A lot. Uh, yeah. And here I was starting like to figure out what kind of layout I want, how big it is. And at the beginning I was like, Mm, this is a very small dock area. I don't feel like it's very realistic, but I don't know I, I try not to be too hard on myself because I, I felt like it would look nice here And it's just like a very small maybe maybe when the city was very small and new and not at the size that I plan on it getting then this was like the original dock area and it was like and the countryside bumfuck nowhere but now it's just like a place where a bunch of people uh, park their luxury boats. Speaking of the people, I'm putting them on the boat because it's uh, cruise time. So I thought that was pretty dope. Um, yeah. And yeah, just placing them. I have everything basically that I did in the docks area in episode 3, but super sped up. And in this video, I basically just really wanted to slow things down. It's it's basically times two, I think, the speed. So it's still like sped up, but not as sped up as I have on my normal videos. And I'm going to end up putting in a letter. And I would also be throwing around like in the area, but not at the actual place. I'm going to also put a ramp. And I also mentioned it in my in episode 3 video that basically the ramp is like if you need to carry really heavy stuff off your boat or something so you get your friends and you bring the ramp and you um, exchange the, the letter. It's not a letter, it's like stairs that I ended up putting down so they're movable. So you just like remove the stairs, put the ramp, you use it and then you put it back and that's why it's, it's thrown to the side. So here I put people down so I can tell the proper height of how tall I want this fence to be. And this, putting down the fence to make it look good and have everything in the same height took me two hours, maybe. So this is heavily edited, heavily cut, sped up. Here I can see that the fence don't actually fit the length that I have, so I had to come up with a solution. The solution that I came up with is exactly what I'm showing you now. I'm realizing it's not gonna look good, 
so I, I put basically this fence part in the corner and then I quote unquote attach it with more fence pieces. And to get, because the, the game feels like we're on water, then it's very hard to get the fences to be at the same height. So it took forever to get them to line up, you know, to get all the lines to be at the same height as the other lines. Because the because the game thinks we're on water, it doesn't remember, it doesn't stick to the ground. So I have to elevate it all the time to the correct height. And it was a nightmare. So this fence, uh, this letter is way too flat. As you can see, I'm looking to the side and it just looks fucking awful. So I got rid of it. Um, and yeah, still checking out letters. It was a huge nightmare to figure out what I want because I never, I, I, I've never looked at how docks are built or how they look, you know, I was just, they were around. So I had no idea what was happening. I settled for this letters for from the pier to the boats. Um, I'm really happy about them. And I'm starting to detail these docks. Uh, the steps from the street height to the docks will look differently. At first, and here I'm looking for assets, it's again to briefly show you how clueless I was. I, I knew I wanted more details, but I didn't know what can I put down. I didn't know what people put down. It was very frustrating. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah, so I'm just searching and searching, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. And here I realize that looking from above, the, these docks assets are really orange. So they really, really stick out. And I didn't like that at all. I wanted it to look more natural and more subdued and more like mixed in. So I wanted to cover it. And these are all types of options that I thought about how to cover it. And if you watched episode 3, then you know what I ended up settling for. Um, this, um, what I just scrapped, it was nice, the texture was good, but it was so flat, you know? At least this, it feels like it's an actual huge piece of, um, now I'm looking for what the fuck I can use to have, like, as pillars. What is holding this up, you know? So this is sped up by 2000 and <laughs> it's just like a half an hour of looking for stuff. What can I use? What can I use? What can I use? Yeah. So this dogs, at least, they feel like they have girth, like, like they're actual chunks of wood and not just nothing, um, which was the issue with the texture that I showed you before. Uh, I really like using these barrels as like the pillars. I thought it was super cool. It, it turned out great. I think it really fits with the type of wooden thing that I ended up putting in as the dock. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it looks and from above it looks like super blended and it looks really good. It looks like it, it looks like one asset. I'm putting down seagulls because these assets move and it's fucking amazing. So yeah, why wouldn't there be seagulls? And this is when I try to put these ladders as like the option from how to get down from the street to the dock. And I thought about it, but it just looked like so much, you know, all the letters together on the dock and from the street to the dock, it just looked like way, way, way too much. So I, I didn't like that. Um, so I ended up scrapping it. Another thing that happened was that if you look down, you can see that the, the letters that I'm using on the docks, you can see them under the water, which I really disliked and I couldn't really stop that. So I had to elevate the terrain so it will get swallowed up in it. You know what I mean? And it wouldn't like show that it's underwater and just continues endlessly into the abyss, you know? So I just, um, yeah, I used water textures and then I just painted the floor. Yeah. Uh, this is when I came up with the ramp idea. So at first I thought, oh, I'll put down this ramp, but 
it looked too rustic. It looked too industrial. It looked too, I don't know. I'm really happy with the steps I ended up finding. I, I thought they fit great. So I'm, I'm happy I went with that. But then I do throw around this asset type of thingy on the side. So if somebody needs a ramp, there's a ramp. It's right there on the side. You'll see it. I, I put it in. So yeah, I scrapped the ramps because I'm not down with that. And now finally, I think we get to the footage of me looking for the stairs. And this is the first version of the stairs where I'm like, oh, this could work. But no matter how much I played with like the width, length and height options, it looked a bit odd, especially with the railing that it has. And then I found this asset, which is what I ended up using, which is perfect because it looks like it can be removed. Like it looks temporary and not like fixed in, but it's white, so it, it stands out. And it's just, I don't know, it felt like the best option. And I'm really happy with it. I'm I hope you think it's the best option too. Uh, we'll see. So yeah, and then it's just forever to get it to be the right size. And then I'm like, whoa, these railings are gigantic. And then I needed to redo it and then redo the other side. And it's always a nightmare when, when you change something. Um, yeah, benches were nearing the end, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know like a 15 long minute blah episode so. and I'm like this trash can is way too new we need an old rustic looking one so bye and then I put the new one in it's really a nightmare that this entire area is considered by the game as like underwater so you have to elevate everything it's a lot easier to play when the game just like puts your assets on ground level and now it's basically, basically, basically <laughs> cluttering, like putting crap, putting trash around, like just stuff that people threw behind the stairs, just random shit, um, just to make it look alive, lived in, like people, you know, people are shitty, they'll just put their stuff on leave, you know, <laughs> so that's what I did. You saw that I put in the benches, somebody even left a tire, they're that crappy. Um, yeah, some bottles. It's a shame I don't have more like bottle assets. I would love that, but it's tiny as you can tell, so maybe it's too much to ask. Um, yeah, I think the benches were a good addition. I was unsure about them, but I really think they really um, balance out, especially this dock that we're looking at now, because that one doesn't have letters on the other side of it, so it really needed something to make it look not like imbalanced <laughs> yeah so um yeah just putting this thing in it was like it's trash not really trash it's just kind of like i don't know it's a it's a case this dude brought with him because he's cleaning shit off his boat this was my first attempt with the plants so I sunk in like an open-ended um, trash can and then I used it like as a pot and I really wanted to have like a ground texture and you're gonna see later that I try putting it in but it just it didn't work which was a shame and I didn't like how like big this tree was and how it stood out so I, I, I cut the fuck out. I, I removed it and then I settled for these trees which I don't know felt appropriate I'm happy with how they are the only thing I don't like is that there's like a, a black pit <laughs> there but I couldn't find anything I could use to to um, make it seem like there's actual dirt in there so just think about it as very dark dirt and this is what I tried. I took this decal, decal basically and I sunk it in and I'm like, ooh, that looks good, but like that, it doesn't, you know, you can see the problem. If I sink it down, it doesn't work. If I bring it up, it's too, too up, so it doesn't do what I need it to do, so it was pointless. 
so what I ended up doing was, okay, I guess I have to fill this up with plants so you wouldn't see the black as much, which is what I ended up doing. I think it, it ended up okay. I mean, it looks nice. And the black is less obvious, which is the important part. Uh, lighting is always a difficult thing for me because I, I suck at it. So <laughs> I never know how people light stuff. So again, I went for a more like old type lighting, you know, like this is from the old city, like from years ago. And now we're gonna put the ramp, what I've, that I've endlessly talked about how there's a ramp, there's a ramp stuck on the side. Yeah, so now we're putting it, great, awesome. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm setting in the right, um, you can obviously see that the inclination isn't big enough for this ramp to actually be functional, but it doesn't matter because it's far away, so you can't tell, so, oh, optical illusion. It's not an optical illusion. I don't know how to call it. You get what I mean. Um, and I think this is it. I've been talking for 15 minutes. Oh my god. That's wacky. Well, I, I, yeah, so try it for yourself. I don't know. This was a very bad tutorial, I guess. Um, I, I, do you like it? <laughs> See you around. <laughs> Bye.